Welcome to the cruise vlogs for my solo trip on Virgin Voyages Brazilian Lady. I hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not because we are in for a great series. drop you off right here they take your bags get your room number and then you go uh, right into those little tents there so that first tent is the VIP of course we have VIP access for this cruise so we're gonna get in here and see what we have to do and hopefully we'll be in the room pretty soon <laughs> So when I went in there for the time slot, they actually told me this is where rock stars and we have to go this way. So we're heading into another building um, and hopefully we're about to board any minute. All right, so this is the security for rock star slash influencers. This ship smells so new. Y'all know I'm such a smell person. It's giving new ship. Oh, it smells so clean. We are on the 11th floor. We are looking for 11106. They already have a lot of bags out here too. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get to this room and drop this bag. Y'all, it is hot. It is hot. Um, there was a little confusion about where I needed to go. Oh, look, here it is, here it is. It's really secluded and it's right here in the area. Okay, this is our room, 11106A, and this is a central C terrace. I'm feeling like I'm at home. I missed my rent elevator and being here. All right, so we're headed down to the manor to go to the VIP slash rockstar little uh, reception where they help you book short excursions and everything. Cause mm -hmm. I have some stuff I wanna get. So um, let's go see what the manor looks like on this ship. Your um, rock star attendant helps you book any excursions you need or anything else. I got me some champagne and we're going to find some food. Okay, so we may not order anything, but we're gonna go and look at the docks. You know, it feels like being home. It's so weird being on the ship knowing you've never been here, but knowing where everything is on the ship. This area is slightly different across from um, where the coffee is. So I know that's new. Like I said, very, very similar to the Scarlet Lady, but um, as far as where everything is. And yeah, look at this. This is where the stand is. So instead of the love, laugh, live, you get the little horses. Right, since we're at the dock house, it's only right we get us some octopus. I didn't try this last time. And the grilled um, goat cheese polenta. So we're gonna see what this tastes like. Get this octopus, y'all. Look at these views from the dock house. I love this place so much. I can't wait to be on the Scarlet Lady with my group in a couple months doing this. I 
always forget to do is come over here and get one of these floats and shakes. So these are the fun ones. A couple of them have alcohol in them. You can get pretzels, wings. Um, so I didn't do this on my first cruise, but I did this on my second. So this is definitely gonna be a place I spend some time. Okay, so let me spill some tea. So this cruise is titled Virgin's Celebration. And this cruise is a celebration of 50 years of Virgin. And we're not just talking about cruising. We're talking about Virgin Records, Virgin Galactic, which is the space portion. We're talking about airlines, hotels, everything that Virgin does. And there are special CEOs from all of those divisions on this cruise that are gonna be leading events and holding conferences and giving never heard secrets about things that happen in the record um, company and the industry and just about all types of things. Like I don't even know everything, but there's a lot. But the biggest thing is, come over here, let me show y'all what's in Richard's rooftop right now. Oh, Alright, so this is the influencer meetup here at Richard's Rooftop. There are apparently 12 influencers that were invited on this trip. Um, a lot of people brought a guest with them, so not a huge group, but really interesting. I get to meet some new people. Because this is a, a voyage celebration, my darlings. Sorry. Is that it? No, it's just a man. Uh, maybe he's not here, Abby. Maybe he's not here. Maybe he didn't come. Where is he? Everybody good? <laughs> Everybody good? <laughs> what a guy is time to read <laughs> Anyway, just want to say thanks very much for coming. I think we've got 2,000 of you on board. So. <laughs> and that's for a party. Yeah. So, um, anybody going to jump in the pool? <laughs> Hi guys, it is 6.42 and we are still here. Not sure what time we're leaving, but I may actually miss the official sail away because I need to get something to eat because we're going to a show tonight. And we're off seven days of beautiful Greek islands and new adventures. So cheers to new beginnings and let's go. All right, so we just said sail away, which was so crazy, so packed. Nothing like the last version cruise I was on because I cruised January and um, there was a lot going on. It was a really good time. The music is lit. The music is lit on this ship. Um, I'm sure they did it all up for the CEOs and everybody that's on here. We saw Tom, who is the CEO of Virgin, and of course, Richard Branson, who started this whole thing, who dared to dream. Um, he was at the Selway party, and I saw him in Richard's rooftop for a minute. I snuck a little bit of a video of him um, <laughs> for Instagram, so I'll have to insert it here so you guys can see it. But um, he's supposed to attend some, a couple of the events on the ship, and I know we have some special events that we're supposed to attend, so we should see him. A um, couple times, maybe even get a picture with them, which would be nice. But um, this cruise is so different for me because I do not have an itinerary. I did not lay things out like I'm so used to booking stuff and um, you know being ahead and knowing exactly what I'm going to do every day. But for me, this experience is so special. Like I'm like wherever the wind takes us. Like I've done enough stressing, enough planning to last a lifetime the last three weeks. So. Um, I'm okay with spending, you know, the next seven days just kind of taking it as it goes and, um, you know, finding whatever we can do. So tomorrow we are going to Santorini. Um, I can't remember what's to follow after that, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what Santorini looks like. We're going to be there till about 9 p.m. I think, 9 or 10. Um, so we'll be there pretty late once we get there in the morning. Um, I know you have to book a tender to get off the ship and all those are booked for the morning so we'll probably be hanging around the ship and doing some exploring but for tonight i do not have a reservation anywhere um but i do have a show booked for eight o'clock which is persephone which i've heard is really good and is new to this ship um they're eventually supposed to i think spread it to scarlet lady um maybe it'll be on when i get back on in november but um it'll be a new show that i haven't seen yet so looking forward to seeing that but so far like all positive for the ship like the way that it, it I know this is so crazy but the way it smells and how new it is it's just so odd because <laughs> I mean it's just it's like rip me out the plastic I'm brand new 
<laughs> ship okay okay it's giving new ship um but yeah so that's the plan for today i'm gonna show you guys what i do of course but um we are off goodbye evans She's our main character. Don't forget her face. Put her mom put her on display for the gods and then she didn't want to play. She went AWOL and vanished in the night like fuck that shit. Adolescence, right? But then she met Hades, the king of the dead and graces. The slayer of the ladies and gentle dams and babies. supposed to be similar to untitled dance party thingy where it moves around like you move around with the stage and everything y'all i have never stayed through that untitled dance show thing and it's a good show but it just isn't entertaining enough for me to stay and stand the whole time y'all i could not leave this show this is the best show i have seen on a cruise ship like i'm not joking that show was so entertaining the music was good the costumes like wow so I am back in the room. I took a shower but left my makeup on and put on my pajamas because tonight is the adult pajama party. I got this really cute three-piece set from Amazon and y'all it's so cute. It's a little short because y'all know I'm 5'9 so most time Amazon stuff be a little short but I still love the way it looks. It's so cute. Hopefully I can stay awake long enough for this party though. I just ordered some ship eats so I'm getting some food delivered to the room because um, I just don't feel like being in a restaurant tonight. So I'm going to watch a movie until the party starts and then hopefully make it to the party. So let's see what happens. Alright, so this is the first night and I really don't feel like eating out. I ordered ship eats. And um, Ship Eats is $7 if you don't order anything that costs money for the delivery fee. If you order like a beverage or something that costs money, then um, you don't have to pay that delivery fee, so it's free. But look at this steak. Oh, y'all, look at this meal. I'm about to eat good. Um, the chicken noodle soup was interesting. So it came with just the noodles and the chicken in here and then the broth in this little tin. And so then you pour the broth over it. But y'all, I'm about to eat this. Um, and then try to gear up for the pajama party. So, um, ship eats is one of my favorite things to do during breakfast, but I definitely love being able to get dinner and deliver to my room anytime too. I cannot believe it. I am awake. <laughs> it is 11 15 and I'm still up and pajama party fit is ready to go. Pajama party time. Headed over to the athletic deck. So this time is outside, um, which is similar to the first time I cruised because the second time it was inside. I don't know why, because I feel like the weather wasn't bad, but back outside this time. And let's see how many people are actually still awake. <laughs> Yeah. 
next time on the Jen Danielle Experience. We are in Santorini. Ah! I do my dream photo shoot, but not without a couple of hiccups. Today has been the most chaotic day I have ever experienced. And it was nobody's fault but my own. Tune in next week to see the dramatics. Thanks for watching.